So, yep, there's homemade ketchup. I mixed some of my new ketchup that we just made in the last video with some of my uh, old ketchup. Try to rotate out your stock, guys. So anyway, that's nothing more than ketchup in that bowl. And we'll be doctoring that up. So we're going to put that to the side for now. Okay. These are called pig skins. There's another name for them. I can't think of what they are. But since we can't use rice or any starches in our stuffed peppers, um, a lot of people actually use these and pulverize it and make pancakes and make bread and all kinds of stuff. The fact is there's no carbs, there's no sugars, and there's 17 grams of protein in eight of these. So we're going to go ahead and put these in my little food processor. I could have done this before. By the way, today we're making uh, keto and Atkins friendly stuffed peppers. Now, if you want to, pause right here. Go get a pen and paper. Okay. So, I'm going to put my... I want to thank Elliot um, for this wonderful little gift. Of this, little, this little mini... Um, Torture. I know, a girl's got to put on her. So push that down. Oh no, right? And lock that in. And we're going to put that, uh, plug it in, and we're going to pulverize this. <laughs> I like to pulverize stuff. Take my digression. I pretend it's troll faces. <laughs> Just saying. Alright, guys. Can you see how that's pulverizing? Okay, let's add the rest of these. And this is going to be used in place of rice. Just saying. These are so amazingly nummy, you guys. These stuffed peppers. I will try to leave the recipe down below, although you guys know I don't really have recipes to a lot of stuff. Okay, we're going to set that back here while we prepare our meat. Okay guys, I'm going to give you the gist of this. Remember, make it the way you like it. So, the rule of thumb with hamburger is you always add at least one egg per pound. So, yeah, you guys try and bite rage, yeah, cage free. Yeah. yeah, you guys know how I am. Yeah, usually I get all natural, but I gotta tell you, I couldn't find all natural cage free. Can you, can you figure that? Right? I know, whatever. So, anyway, we're gonna add two large eggs. To our hamburger. Seven. Nummy num. Something about eggs. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna season this, but we're not, we're not gonna season this real heavy. You gotta remember your pork rinds got salt on them, or they're salty. So we're just gonna add a tad bit of Himalayan. We are going to add pepper to these. You guys, you can add mushrooms to bulk this. You don't have to use the pork rind. You can dicely, finely chop some um, mushrooms, any kind of mushrooms you like. You can put in, uh, you can chop up zucchini, any kind you like, and put in here as well. Uh, what we want to do is we want to have a filling for our peppers. This is a total of four large um, garlic cloves. Uh, yeah, you never could have enough garlic. Keeps the vampires away. <laughs> anyway, and now we're going to add in a few parsley flakes for color because that's just how I roll. Okay. And into that, we're going to add in some uh, Parmesan there.
Remember, you can mix yours with whatever you like. But this is just giving you a rough idea. On um, you can still have uh, stuffed peppers, guys. You can still have stuffed peppers. Oops, there's a garlic. <gasps> Don't lose the garlic, Timmy. Um, get this off. So we're gonna get these out. I know I have these little white spoons I've had forever. They're like part of my favorite cooking world. Oops, oops, drop them all on the floor. Okay, so these are our ground up pork rinds. Uh, you can get these anywhere. Don't get the barbecued guys, and I, I really wouldn't get the hot flavored ones. I would just get the plain. See, they kind of almost look like rice, right? I, I, yeah, I would just get the regular flavored pork rinds. As you guys know, keto is high fat. Atkins, which I actually live the Atkins lifestyle, is high protein. Yeah, for a girl who is a vegetarian for 20 years, right? So anyway, now that we have that out, we're just going to kind of mix this in. First thing we're going to do is add just a tad of our, let me go back here, I uh, dropped all these on the floor, hang on guys, that one landed in the pan. We're going to add just a tad of our homemade ketchup before we season it to, you guys see this right, and that's just to moisten this up. Okay. Yeah, I usually do use my hands, but cleaning my nails afterwards sucks. <laughs> Especially when you're making a video. So I thought I would just try and get it going like this. I might pause you all while I uh, mix this up. But you can see. So could you imagine some portobello mushrooms diced up in here? Or even some zucchini finely diced. I would stay away from broccoli or cauliflower you guys only because you don't want that flavor to take over your your stuffed peppers so anyway I'm gonna use my fingers I'll be back in a minute hey guys magic uh, right anyway um, I did add some minced onions about probably a tablespoon maybe two tablespoons into this mixture and so this is our stuffing for our peppers. Doesn't that look amazing? Yes, yes, yes. For you mushroom lovers, that would be amazing, right? So now what we want to do, put this stuff over here. I'm going to use that spoon. I'll get a new one. Okay, now what we want to do, you guys, is we want to mix this sauce. Remember I was telling you earlier, you can take your ketchup and, um, and make it like a spaghetti sauce? Well, to me, stuffed peppers is kind of an Italian dish. So I always, I love this stuff, guys. Cumin. Not going to add a lot, just a little, because it is a very aggressive spice. Okay, we're going to, again, add a little bit of garlic. Uh, we're going to add a little bit of... No, no minced onion. No, no, no. I have onion powder here somewhere. Just finding it. My house is chaotic here. I know two cooking videos in one day. I know, right? Okay, so we're going to use some onion powder. So what we kind of want to do with this, you guys, is make this taste Italian. Okay, I have this beautiful little thing here. So we're going to add some basil to this. Basil is like one of my favorite, favorite uh, flavorings. Along with... Oregano, darling. Oregano. I put oregano in one of my homemade dressings. I'll have to do a video on one of my homemade dressings. Okay. And a little eh, rosemary is okay. We'll just put in a little bit. Okay. And of course, parsley. Because par parsley is good for your breath. It's good for you, actually. Adds color. Okay, 
And because I roll like this, we're going to add a little Tabasco to mine. Yeah. Okay, we're going to add some onion, uh, black powder, I mean black pepper. So if there's any of these spices you don't like, don't put them in. I'm giving you a rough recipe here on something that I like and I make. And salt. Okay. And we're going to mix this now. So like I said, this sauce is a mixture of my new ketchup and the ketchup I had in the refrigerator. And <clears throat> always try and rotate your food, guys. If you're making new mayonnaise, use your old mayonnaise first. If you're making new ketchup, use your old ketchup first. That way nothing goes to waste. I can't stand stuff to go to waste. Okay, let's get a spoon and taste our Italian dressing. Or Italian sauce, per se. I know, I just thought of those hot pepper chips. <laughs> hmm. It's Italian with a bit of a bite. I mean, um. <laughs> okay, guys. Today, I am going to be cooking this. And this. Let's see if I can make some room. My goodness. In my electric skillet. Okay, so we're going to start this out with. Oh. Okay. Uh, let me see. Olive oil. Oh, no. Don't tell me I'm out of olive oil. Oh, well. Just want to use some vegetable oil. Yeah. Shoot. Okay. We're going to line this with just a little bit of vegetable oil. That's what I make my meal with. Okay, get this plugged in. You want this pot hot. Okay. Now you guys, I always save the little caps. Sometimes you can dice those up and put those in your stuffing if you want. I actually don't like them in my stuffing. I want my stuffing to have a different flavor than those delicious, delicious roasted peppers. Because when you make stuffed peppers, what you're getting is roasted. Roasted, roasted. Okay, we're going to set this on about between 350 and 375. Get this stuff cleared up out of my way. Some here. So, as I said, let's turn this up high to get it going. Okay, I buy different flavors of peppers. I buy, I have red peppers today, two of them. I have, and these came from a friend's garden. I have a yellow pepper. What the hell? Fuzzy on my pepper. That's not cool. I have a mixture of a pepper. And I have a green pepper. So, we're gonna, these are the bad boys we're stuffing today. You could use absolutely, what the hell was that? I'm still finding my dog's hairs all over my house. It's driving me nuts. I know, right? On a video, you're trying to see if there's a, you know what, maybe I was seeing things. I don't know. Let me, let me look as this oil gets hot. Yeah, maybe it's a dirty spot on my glasses. Stresses me right out, I'll tell you. Oh, it was a scratch. I guess it was a scratch in the pan. I'm not seeing anything, guys. Okay. So anyway, we got that pan nice and hot. And then we're going to drop it back down to between 350 and 375. Okay. First thing we want to do to this pan is we want to add a little bit of this sauce to the oil, get it blended in. That'll keep our stuff from sticking. Okay, now we're going to stuff our peppers. That's right. Okay, guys, if you just take a spoonful of 
stuffing. Let me show you how I do this. I'll do it on my next one. And I put a top on it. I'll set that down. Let me show you how I do this. This is so easy. Okay, you take your popper and you just scoop it in there. Give it a smash down. And you take another scoop. And you get it smash down. Smack down, I guess. Isn't that some kind of word for like WW? WWF or WWC. Okay, next. I want a little bit on top. <laughs> ah, balance, boys. Yeah, I know I love red peppers, you guys. Oh my god. They're sweet, delicious. Okay, we're gonna pack that puppy full. Let me see. Isn't that beautiful? Nice full pepper. Okay, and we're going to pack another one here. That Parmesan should melt into these peppers amazingly, but we're going to actually put some cheese on top toward the end with our sauce. Okay, the green one, and we're done. Wow, I have almost just enough. Actually, I have just a tad over, so I'll probably uh, make a couple little meatballs, throw them around inside. That's the best way to do it. Okay, got them all. So I'll meet you back here in a minute uh, as soon as I get this dressed and ready to go. See you in a second, guys. Oops, 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 oops. I'm new. Okay, guys, we're back. So, yeah, I double checked to make sure that wasn't a hair. So, anyway, um, yeah, paranoid, I guess. So, this is how you should have this in the bottom. You want enough grease so that nothing sticks. Mmm, tastes delicious. So, what I did is I had five peppers. So, there's one. There's two, and you guys with different colored peppers, I have to say, it really it makes your dinner look amazing. Okay, it does. So what I did is, since I had meat left, I told you guys I always save my tops and my bottoms. I don't waste nothing. So we made our own little pretend pepper. Ha! <laughs> right? Right! So anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the rest of our homemade sauce and we are gonna spread it on top now you guys I have to tell you about the last 30 minutes on this recipe we're gonna cook this for about an hour and a half to two hours on 350 and the last hour or two of this recipe okay we are gonna add a cheese mozzarella, whatever white cheese I have in the refrigerator, mozzarella is good and we're gonna save a little bit of this uh, ketchup to brush the tops when they come out so what I'm gonna do right now sprinkle some Parmesan since it's such a hard cheese and it's really hard to melt it for now it'll blend into this beautiful flavoring Okay, so I will see you back here in about an hour and a half. I will end this video, and the next video will be just part of this video. Only, yeah, it'll be it'll come up right after this, guys. Anyway, enjoy. Oh, let's add some salt and pepper to the top of these. Dirt to dirt. Yeah, salt tends to seal in the moisture and the juices. And I know it's hard for you guys because I grind to know how much salt I put on. Salt to taste. Pepper to taste. And I'm going to uh, finish cooling off my spaghetti. And when I come back, I will show you how I jar that as well. So anyway, I'll get the lid on. Turn it back to 350. Yep, yep. Okay. 
We'll see you guys when it's done. Ta-da! See you in a little bit. Hey everybody, we're back with our keto-friendly bell peppers. You guys, I have to tell you, I wish I had smell-o-vision because why these peppers were cooking, <laughs> it smelled just like the stuffed peppers my grandmother used to make. But the fact is, is these peppers, these peppers have nothing more than three to five grams of carbs, depending on the size of the pepper. Um, the smaller the pepper, the less carbs. The stuffing that we made for these peppers have no carbs. The only thing that has carbs in this dish was our homemade sauce, our homemade ketchup with our herbs, and the bell pepper. Now, what I didn't show you, and I spaced it off when I was getting my pepper dish ready, is I always put a cup to a cup and a half of uh, chicken broth in the bottom. In the beginning, we put a light coat of oil and some of our homemade sauce, and we let that get thick, and then I put the peppers in. Well, after, when it got to boiling and got really hot, I poured in a cup and a half of chicken broth, and that helps it to steam if you're cooking it in an electric frying pan. Now, if you're cooking it in the oven and you're going to cover these, and what you want to do, you want to cover them for at least uh, the first 40 minutes, I actually cooked mine uh, in this for about an hour and 20 minutes. Um, in the oven, it'll be about an hour and a half, somewhere in that area. But anyway, um, so the only carbs in this dish are from our sauce. And as you can see, um, the sauce really uh, thinned up with the um, chicken broth. I'm sorry, guys. I've had a really busy day. Um, and the only thing that I put on top was about a teaspoon or tablespoon at the max on any of them. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to take one out and we're going to plate it. Um, I did take the tops of my bell peppers, if you'll notice, and I added them through because I, I hate to waste anything. Now, I'm alone right now, so what I'll do is I will wrap each individual one of these in a container and make my own uh, frozen dinner that I can just nuke when I want to or put in the toaster oven. Um, on three of these, I did take and put some Parmesan, I mean uh, mozzarella, um, uh, about 10 minutes before they were done. The other ones just have the Parmesan sitting on top and blended in really well. So we're going to take this red pepper right here. I love red peppers. Doesn't that look amazing? I cannot tell you guys how wonderful this smells. Yeah, a little more pepper there. Oh, absolutely. Right. And then we are going to take... I'm going to put a little sauce to this as soon as I find a saucepan. I really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Um, I, I love cooking uh, foods that are healthy for you. And not only healthy, but... Um, yeah, low carbs. Like I said, I am on the Atkins diet, and uh, I know, right? Do you see this, guys? Doesn't that look amazing? That looks absolutely amazing. I'm going to put the lid on this. Let's move this out of the way for a second. Yeah, let's see if I can move this out of the way. I don't have a whole lot of room here. Let's set it up here. Okay. And let me get a knife. I know, right? Ah, ah, a sharp knife. And a fork. And we're going to cut into this. And I'm going to show you what the stuffing looks like. There. That's the stuffing. And if you look at it, it looks just like the stuff mom used to make. You can see the, the whites from the pork rinds, the ground pork rinds. Let's take a little bite and then I'm going to wish you well ado while I stuff my face because this girl's hungry. Oh, you guys, you cannot tell that this is a, a low carb diet. You can't tell that this stuffed pepper has anything more. Let me put it over here. This stuffed pepper tastes just like the stuff grandma used to make. It tastes just like 
and you put rice in it. I really hope you enjoy this recipe. Remember that in the beginning, before you put your lid on or you put it in the oven, to add that cup and a half of uh, bouillon, whatever flavor you want to use, and enjoy. This is amazing. You could top this with more Parmesan. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you like the recipe. Remember to love yourself because if you don't love you, nobody's going to love you. Peace out. Bye-bye.